Sorry, sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. We're ready. Q. Yes. Okay. Cool. Sorry, just. I like Glenda Chong, you know. <laughs> she will talk to the BTS all right. You know, this morning I just I I hit my head on like this 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 thing. It hurts my 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 little. So- do, you, do you see the mark? Selamat Hari Raya kepada abah abah dan bapa you. Nanti kita pergi rumah you. Jadi kita boleh makan kue you. Kue, you. <laughs> kue, kue bangkit you. Oh. And the bantal peluk. Oh. Papa you. Hey. Welcome to this episode of Hari Raya. Uh, that's why we are dressed specially different just for today's episode. Correct. We are dressed in our Raya's best. Okay, first okay. of all, uh, I think everyone wants to know mm. when is Hari Raya this year, Cathy? It is on... April. I believe it's April 21st. Can we confirm? Eh, can I we think confirm? it's 24th. Producer, can we confirm how Raya went this year? I was the closest one. April 22nd. I said April 21st. I said what? What did you say? April 22nd. I said 22nd. 24th. I said April 22nd. Yeah, correct. 24th. Some of my non-Malay friends asked me, how come Ramadan moves? Mm. Like Chinese New Year moves. Correct. Deepavali moves, but Ramadan and Hari Raya is the one calendar that moves very rapidly. But I guess the question is, how come it moves? So why does it move? Because Malay people don't know how to count. <laughs> <laughs> Malay like this, uh, they like to eat Malay also. And then a fun fact, Ramadan also can change, change up till the last minute. Oh my god, last year it Correct. was... So, so last year's Ramadan, for those who don't know, Malaysians yeah. celebrated Hari Raya one day earlier than Singaporeans. Yes! Now, the, the, the principle is Hari Raya, or in Arabic they call it Eid, Shawal, is announced when the moon of the new moon of Shawal is being seen in the horizon. So some countries will see it from where they are, and some countries won't, which is why it was so weird that Indonesia and Malaysia last year celebrated it earlier and Singapore didn't. Right. That said, yeah. they also said that actually technically if your regions are already celebrating it and you want, also can. But last year, the Mufti said, no, no, no. Yeah, and then they didn't we, let we, us celebrate. We were slow. For the first time, Singapore was behind Indonesia and Malaysia. And, and they were trying to show off. One more thing that people don't know. In Islam, the new... Day starts in the evening. Starts at sunset. Correct. Yeah. So when does Hari Raya start? In the evening. Of the, of the last the, day of Ramadan. Yeah. So, so that when you break your fast, that one, uh, Shawal has begun. Correct. That, that also depends. Maybe suddenly we don't see the moon again. Eh. Ah. Eh, don't manifest. Don't manifest, girl. Yeah. For five eh. days, we don't see the moon. Eh. <laughs> Kiamat <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. Touch wood. Eh, takut. Bawa-bawa masa macam ni. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. Wait, we need to touch someone's touch wood. Ah, uh, Come here. Crew, we need to touch wood. Come, come, come. come. We said something that is dangerous yeah. if it happens. So we need Who to break won? the curse. We need to touch wood. What fond memories you have of Ramadan, Cathy? Okay, my fondest memory of Ramadan is always Gelang Bazaar. Oh my God. You the know, 90s Ramadan Bazaar is different. Yes, it is the best. And the best time to go Ramadan Bazaar is when... The eve of Hari Raya. Why? Because that's when everything lay long. Oh. That's when everything you get can be free. Can, can be, be free. Can be free. If you really try. What do you do in return? <laughs> <laughs> can be free. But you just need to do him a favor. <laughs> no, okay. Because everyone wants to sell, sell, sell that right. thing away. Clear right? Stop. Yeah, clear stop. Because for what? You want to keep for a whole year. Oh my God, I have a story to tell. Oh. We lost my little sister who was one year old at Ramadan Bazaar. And this was year 2000. So this was like still the wet market vibes. Oh, no. Yes, yes. She knows this story, I think. Uh, <laughs> but if you she don't... She was one. She was one. You'll find <laughs> out on Epic Mina. No, this is the funny thing. So my, my grandmother used to live in Yunos. And we would have like gatherings and breakfast together for Ramadan. And then like after that, because he lived so near Bazaar Ramadan, we would just go over and mm. then a whole bunch of us will be there and my father's side like have 11 siblings okay. so you can imagine it's a big group auntie cousin all 24 uh, of us uh, yeah and that's just okay. first cousin oh, wow. so then we all were hanging out and like there were at least like 3-4 toddlers at a point of time lah. so everyone was like passing the toddler so I don't know who helped my sister last I believe it was my mom. <laughs> Allegedly lah. We're not saying that this happened. Allegedly. And then, 
all of a sudden, I see my mom wailing. <laughs> I said, like, what's going on? She, like, she lost, uh, our sisters lost our sister. And I started panicking. I was very attached to my sister when I was young. What so, oh, yeah. <laughs> Our sister's lost. Our sister's lost. I just cannot imagine the panic your family must have been Why in. Is it funny? I, don't want to talk. I just imagine this big family in the whole crowd of Ramadan Bazaar in Tomorrow. It's very sad, I promise. My sister's gonna watch this. I'm sorry, I just feel so sad. Worry. It is! And she was in a very cute white dress. I think my mom, one thing she raised the kids is to have style. So my sister was in a very cute white dress. So it's it's really like, it's not like she's in some t-shirt or, or jeggings. It's so like, much dungeonary. Yeah, you get to tell exactly what that kid looks like. Okay. And the next thing I know, this gentleman walks with, with my, my sister on his shoulder. And he was quite tall. So he, I saw her from the crowd. And I just ran up to her. And, but by then, my mom had also seen her. And then my mom... <laughs> Who is this gentleman? Don't know, but but he knew to be in an open space where if any parent were looking for lost children, could have seen him. Okay. That's it. My mom also lost me in Sentosa and uh, lost my brother on a bus home from school. My mother left my sister and myself at a bus stop. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's character building. Correct, correct. It's for you to find your own way home. Yeah, what about you? What's yeah. your most iconic story of Ramadan? <laughs> my iconic story is actually my father who uh, did it. So, every time... Okay, <laughs> which way? <laughs> what? <laughs> why, am I, why am I alluding to everything wrong? No, my iconic story of Ramadan yes. is of my father. Okay. So, every year, we last time it. when... <laughs> Last time when got the Arab Street Bazaar, right? So my father would go, would just give, give, give to people. And then I saw him go to the last makci. He give her, don't know how much like, he give her money. Yeah, your father very generous. Oh, he is a generous man. Give her money and now that she was like, Oh, I'm just waiting for my son. <laughs> <laughs> but why she complain? Correct! No, but People my... give money, keep! Don't say your yes, intentions! Keep! That's what I was wondering too. In this economy, G. Just stay. It's yeah. okay. Whatever rescue is yours, Correct. which is like blessings, lah. Whatever but your blessings dad must you be take. So spicy. But he handled it well. Why he just, it? oh, sorry, he take back. <laughs> Selamat hari raya. <laughs> Walk off. Okay, if you were the machi and someone gave you money, what, what, what would your first instinct be? Um, <laughs> Mine would be thank you. <laughs> Thank you, very nice. I also, I also, I think. Yeah. I will say thank you. But what's this for? Uh, I will ask. Oh, yeah. because sometimes it could be black magic. And scam. And scam. Yeah. <gasps> I have a funny story to tell you about Katie and Ramon Abbasau. This is Katie's story. Katie. Kat- it's remember, Katie. it's Katie. Okay? It's always Katie it's- and Shasha. So, uh, Katie had met this Turkish guy, Katie. <laughs> yes. So this Do my memory. One day, Katy's parents were overseas and Katy was hungry. So Katy decided to call him for a meal. But Katy didn't want to entertain him. And uh, <laughs> right after she finished her meal, she said, I gotta go. She walked out, flagged a cap, and he watched her pass before his eyes. And that was the last he saw her. Until... <laughs> We went to shoot a high rise video in the Ramadan Bazaar. <laughs> Katie should have been smarter because why? This Turkish guy was a kebab seller. It's gonna be what? Hey, okay. First of all, how I know? I thought after that, it was many years ago, okay? When you we thought he was Turkish, other, he would go back you, home. Because he said his plan was to go back home. Bring then you home. I meet the mother or go <laughs> back home. Of course, la, as a young girl who was Katie. I will be scared. She told the mom about her and everything already, you know? You broke the gentleman's heart, but worse, you broke the mom's heart. That's the that's a Mina quote. Never break the gentleman's mom's heart. You are chibai. So anyways, 2011, we were shooting a high rise video. Then all of a sudden, from the distance I saw at the kebab stall, this young looking Solin. <laughs> Let's call him Solin. Cutting the meat. And he turned his eyes towards me. And I turned to him and I did this. I said, why do you look familiar? And I said, oh my god, Katty, Katty is Solin. Katty is Solin. And then Katty, no la, no la. And Katty turned, eyes facing Solin. 
<laughs> he was like, Shasha, he looking. He looking, Shasha, he looking. What's staring at him? What did you think was going to happen? You disappear. <laughs> And then the next year, we keep seeing him at the bazaar. So after that, we know not to visit the kebab section. <laughs> Would you like to apologize to Solin? Since it's Hari Raya, you want to apologize? Okay. Apologize to Solin. That's true. You were young and innocent. Growth, he can yeah. forgive you. Okay, Solin, the next time that you see me, or if you see this even, I hope you do. I am sorry. I was a young, a stupid girl who didn't know much about what being in a relationship And was. if you want, she can pay back for the lunch. Now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I heard Solin is married now. How you know? I think I saw Solin with a woman the other day. <laughs> When? Could be <laughs> When was it the other day? What the other day? Like, what the other day? Like, last week? This was many years ago. Uh, Cathy, yes. we have to move on very quickly okay. to the next topic. Right. Do you all remember a time when Muna Hirzi did Hari Raya in the city? Eh, every year, you know, every we year. painstakingly produced that. In that, that kebaya video. walking around with a tape video, you know, guys. The kind that guys. you have to rewind after that and digitize. Right. This was not yet TikTok interface, you know. Y'all, uh, we run so y'all can TikTok. Mm. Y'all don't know the hard work of it. Eh, that is very quotable. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to put that on my Rai baju. Yeah. My next favorite thing okay. about Hai Rai is the fashion. Correct. Yeah, look at us, we're so fashion. And yeah. uh, I think Hai Raya has really up its level. It's be- it's become the Muslim Met Gala as they call it now. That's right. Yeah. People show up to turn up. Yeah, and people plan their outfits months in advance. <laughs> the relatives that I have, they take pride mm. in their Hai Raya outfits. Of course, and they were always walking with an air. This one is actually Hari Raya weddings anywhere also. Just an Doa air. Doa right? Every time there's you, just an air. You taught me there's an Al Hadad walk. Al Hadad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The Al Hadad walk. Do you want to see? Yeah. Wow. Hey, the Al Hadad are here, guys. The Al Hadad are here. My family will always wear the same color, and sometimes we coordinate with our cousins as well. To the Malay families who always wear the same color, I would say go with the same color but not the same pantone. I think that should be the new trend. Yes. So Correct. Like, you don't do like a, a one for all sale, mm, mm, you know. Mm, and I get it. Okay, people with small kids, I get it. You know, you just you're not gonna wear that baju after they grow up. Or they that, will you know? outgrow it. So if you want to buy like a a set, I understand. But mm. people with adult families do different pantones. You know, don't look like a long sale uh. a moving curtain sale. You know? <laughs> Then you all take the train. Wait, what? It's Ikea, ko. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a Malay family on Hari Raya. <laughs> Now, Kathy, every Hari Raya, Machi Machis will come with questions that you must quickly evade. Okay. I'm going to play a Machi and I'm going to throw you random lines they say and you must quickly come back on the spot with okay. something to avoid the question okay. or to hurt them back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the more pain, the better. Okay. Okay. Number one. Why are you so fat now, Kathy? I thought you were a fridge just now. <laughs> Would hurt me like that, <laughs> Machi. At least I got a fridge at home. You, no wonder your food go bad. Very good. I will be so scared. <laughs> But I was really hurt. Wow, this Machi is very savage. Good. I can tell a very quick story. Uh. Last year, right, was the first time I saw my relative again for Hari Raya. Shasha, okay, Shasha saw her relative again for the first time for Hari Raya. And then, like, of course, after the pandemic, you gain weight, lah, right? Huh. Auntie, the first thing she said, she saw me. Hey, Shasha, got a gumo, eh? The library is about to be open. She yeah. look diabetic. I never say anything, you know. Okay, hello. The pot calling the kettle fat. <laughs> okay, you're wearing a loose budget kurong, but I can still see the corners of your hips. Let it out. Let it out, girl. Let it out. Next Hari Raya, apologize. <laughs> okay. The nerve of her to call me fat. It's tough lah. I'm tough. <laughs> Kus mangat, we call it. <laughs> okay. Cathy, don't wait so long to marry. Your metabolism is only going to get worse. Today you fridge, tomorrow you lorry freezer. <laughs> What is this? Machi adding on to her insult. You insult her food, right? Oh, she's going, she's going. Okay, Machi. At least I'm still waiting out for the right one. Not like you. Marry, then divorce. Huh. You don't even know your husband's in Batam right now. 
Wah, that one the macam. Oh, yeah. Okay, macam makan. Go 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 go. I will keep yeah, that. Very good, very good, very good. You can use this if you want. Yeah. Kathy, people say lah, right? If you married ready and don't have children, means your husband got other woman outside. <laughs> you cannot satisfy. That's why. Okay, auntie. The reason why we don't have children is so that we can keep doing it all night long without having to attend to the kids. Ah, stop lah, Azim. Go back to contraception, Hara. Who say we use contraception? We pull out Game Strong. <laughs> oh, okay lah, jumpa makan, jumpa makan. <laughs> Now next one, Kathy. People say right, if nobody asks for your hand in marriage after you're thirty, means people black magic your mother, you know. Kau tak solat sebab tu. Eh, Maci, say people, say yourself. Jumpa makan, jumpa makan, Joanne. I think if you all all else fail, right? Say people, say yourself. Say people, say, people say yourself, say Maci. Me. Kathy, every marriage will have fights, but as women, we are sent here to endure abuse. If you divorce, you are not strong enough. Wow. This is really cut through. Do Machis actually say that to people? <laughs> eh, Machi, I would rather leave a toxic relationship than stay in one. Look at your husband, ogling at your daughter. Nephew. Ah, even worse. <laughs> you got this. Eh? That was good. You win. You win. Huh. That was that was it. Good job, guys. I'm not saying not you yeah, you yeah, really yeah. got your matchy game strong. Yeah. If you all ever need to be inspired, uh, just check out whatever she said. Or if you all have tips, please leave them in the comments. Also. Words come to us. Just say, see people. Say yes. <laughs> Every high raya, what people don't know is it's a time of starting anew, mm. and you apologize for your past sins for the people that you love. And Kathy and I have prepared an apology for each other. That's right. Yeah. So you want to go first? I think I will go first. Okay. 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 Salam, sis Shasha. Salam, Liko. So many years gone by, and I thought I did so well to avoid you. I'm glad I have this chance to clear the air and apologize to you, this oh. Raya. I am so sorry we had to come back in a podcast because you have a face for radio. <laughs> People say yourself. No lah, you are beautiful. Thank God for our makeup artist. <laughs> I'm so sorry that after all those parodies, you still cannot hold a tune. Girl, you are very successful. Get lah, a musical teacher. Stay, stay. I'm sorry, I accidentally slept with your boy. Eh, hey, wait, sorry. What boy? <laughs> They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because. <laughs> you too cut throat lah girl Tak apa Janji standards high Hey Say people say yourself ah. Selamat hari raya <laughs> You go hard lah Can I get five minutes to rewrite <laughs> Okay, let's wrap okay. this up. Selamat Hari Raya, Cathy. Selamat Hari Raya. Selamat Hari Raya. I'd like to take this beautiful Hari Raya day to apologize to you in person and comment section. Comment section tu cari pasangan kau ke? Dear Cathy, you are my oldest friend I know. A long time friend. I literally don't know old more than when I spend time with you. And that's just because I'm always forced to hang out with your elderly boyfriends. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always thought your taste in men were questionable. <laughs> eh, sorry, sorry. I meant to say, I'm sorry. I always think your taste in men are <laughs> questionable. <laughs> okay, okay, giving it back. They say jodoh di tangan Tuhan. Soulmates are determined by God's hands. But I think more powerful than that is jodoh juga di tangan perempuan perampas. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
for the English audience, soulmates too are determined by home-wrecking hands that snatch other people's men. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Good. On that note, I oh. forgive you for stealing my secondary school boyfriend ah. that time. <laughs> Hi, sh- <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to seek forgiveness for my wrongdoings too. Sorry, Katy, for that time when Heikel MRT said I was prettier than you. Sorry for that time I fought with you over Habibi and his Arab pipe. <laughs> Lastly, sorry that I let you look the way you did during our YouTube time together. I don't regret it. Kathy, you are my friend dunia akhirat in this lifetime and in the afterlife. So, I hope Allah takes you first. <laughs> so, you can come back to tell me as a ghost if I quickly need to taubat or not. <laughs> but what is paradise without my best friend? Wherever you go, I will follow you and bully you. And that quite sweet, yeah. Of course, yeah. Of course. Even the yeah. But how are you? How have you been? Oh, All right, and on that note, we've ended our Hari Raya episode of Epic Minas, the podcast series. We hope you enjoyed. Do check this out on both Spotify and YouTube. Selamat Hari Raya! Say people, say yourself! Hello, nama saya Gina Kurma. My name is Shasha Zamzam. My name is Tina Katira. And my name is Kathy Buba Masjid. It's time for a Raya shout out by Epic Mina. Tak tu punya, aku tengah puasa. Kau nak ni ke ni? Kau nak yang mana? Ni ke ni? Eh, dia mah. Ni aku picit kau punya mata. Ni untuk, ni syair untuk Taufik Batisa. Okay, go. Siapa tu pempan? Siapa tu pempan? Siapa tu pempan? Mak, you lepas buka nanti aku kerjakan. Ha.